Hey guys, so I was talking to my mom on Gmail, which is always fun, and I asked her what I should vlog about, and she said she wanted me to vlog about uh, communication, distance, and things like that. So with friends and family, kind of what I found. And I guess a little tiny bit of background, I moved off when I was 18 to go to college, lived about two and a half hours away, which in the States, at least from where I'm from, it's like your next door neighbor. So when you say you live, you're from two, two and a half hours away, you're pretty much like, you know, you, your daily distance kind of, daily commute kind of distance. Uh, but it did give me enough space. It gave me enough of a buffer that I could kind of have my own space. And so, like, I talked to my mom a, a good bit. And I saw my mom, you know, maybe, I don't know, once a month or so, because I worked and everything as well. But moved to Ireland, right? So I moved to the other side of the world. And, you know, communication is different, obviously, because it... Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> communication is a little bit different because now I'm doing Skype and Gmail talks and stuff like that. And so it's not as frequent, you know, and it's not in person. And I've actually found that it has improved my relationship with my mom. I, I feel like I have real conversations with my mom now, more as adults. In fact, when she came to visit me, it was probably the first time, it was the best time, easily the best time I've ever had with my mom. But I think it was because we were equals. Like, it felt like we were just hanging out. It was the first time I've ever just kind of hung out with my mom. And there was no pressure, there was nothing, I mean, I was grumpy about having sleep on the floor, but other than that, <laughs> like, it was perfect. And so I feel that my relationship with my mom has actually grown stronger since I've left because I've had better communication. And then with friends as well, like I feel there was one or two friends that I knew I would stay in contact with. And I have, you know, like I've had no problems with that. There's a few friends that I thought I would stay in contact with and I don't. And there's a few that I knew I'd just be kind of, you know, contact here and there. And that's happened. And there's because I believe there's what's called situational friends where you're in school, you're in work, you just happen to live next to each other, like that kind of thing, and you're friends because of that. And those friendships don't normally last the test of time, but real friends, those do. And like my friend Julian, like I will be friends with him, you know, till one of us goes, <laughs> you know, like, like him and I will be friends no matter where we are in the world. And we'll have communication, you know, you we go through lulls of time where you might not be talking as much here or there, but it'll happen. And so my, like, since I've moved, I've actually had, I think, better communication with most people. And I like that, you know? And I like the fact that there's technology, because I can obviously be doing this vlog and, um, and you know, call my mom on email and everything else. And there's technology that fosters the, the, the gap of, the, of distance and makes it not really there, you know? Because I can just call my mom and she can, you know, send me a Facebook message and stuff like that. So, I don't know. For me, I haven't had any problems. And uh, I know my mom's really excited to come and see me. Because uh, I'm really excited for her to come as well. So she'll be coming over the summer. It'll be a lot of fun. Be your second trip into Ireland. So, yeah, let me know about you guys. Uh, have you moved away from home? Has your, you know, family, your friend, like, like when you moved, what happened with your friends and stuff? I'd be interested to know with you. But for me... Mostly it's been positive. I've had no real problems. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.